Ricky Lake is a brand new woman with a brand new physique. She has struggled with weight loss throughout her life. Ricky's extraordinary story of finally getting a grip on her life and losing those extra pounds for good is fascinating. How did she manage to shed so much weight? Stay tuned till the end to know more about it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. Let's get started without any further ado. Ricky Lake is an American actress best known for hosting her talk show, The Ricky Lake Show. The actress portrayed Tracy Turnblad, a woman who learns to accept her larger size, in the 1988 film Hairspray. What started as a great school urge to perform on stage developed into more than a 30-year acting career. Slightly tarnished by weight-related issues, combative talk show guests, toxic criticism, and tragic loss. But despite everything, Lake has stayed cheerful. So, what was Ricky's biggest size? I was 260 pounds in a size 24. Now I'm 120 something, and this is me. I'm less than half my size. This is the thinnest I've ever been in my life. Ricky has battled weight loss issues for 20 years. She was in her prime when she made her film debut in the original Hairspray. Ricky has lost 140 pounds and is now a completely different person. How did she lose those pounds then? Ricky Lake had revealed that she was proud of her size when she was younger. Unfortunately, she developed an unhealthy attachment to eating and admitted to taking sweets to bed with her. She has struggled with her weight since she was a child. After appearing in films such as Crybaby, the actress shed almost 100 pounds at the age of 24, but it slowly crept back on. Lake summed up her long-standing weight conflict in an interview with Oprah Winfrey on her Where Are They Now show, saying, I became famous for being a certain size, and I was a role model for so many young women. But I loved when I lost weight and felt good about my body. I loved telling the world. Still, life has a way of getting in the way, and Lake reportedly put on 80 pounds after settling her divorce from Christian Evans. However, Lake's weight is now stable and healthy. Lake's long career was complicated by her being overweight. She claims she looks and feels better than ever now that she shed more than 140 pounds since her peak weight and has kept it off for so long. Annie was a life-changing experience for Lake when she watched it at age 6. Her desire to perform on stage became clear to her at that point, but it was also at that stage that Lake experienced abuse, which she feels contributed to her initial weight gain. I was sexually abused as a child, as a young child, and I think that is what contributed to my being overweight and obese in the later years," Lake said. At around age 9 or 10, Lake recalled that her weight began to creep up. Lake said that her eating habits also influenced her weight gain. She has terrible eating tendencies. While adding that we did not sit down as a family, Lake stated that she did not want to place responsibility on her parents. She admitted to becoming obsessed with eating. Lake had grown to Tracy Turnblad's size by the time she was in college. She was unaware of how out of control she had become. She recalls living in Los Angeles and eating lunch with her actor pals, including Jennifer Aniston. The roles continued to pour in after Hairspray. It appeared to be an endless flood of opportunities until it all tumbled. The additional weight that had previously suited her well had now become a burden. Her position on China Beach was not extended, her agents stopped taking her calls, and she was homeless for a short period. Lake had reached rock bottom at 5 feet 3 inches and 260 pounds. She decided it was time to reduce weight, but she did it in a way she would never recommend to anyone. I was starving myself. I mean, it was really not the way to do it, which is why I continue to say I'm not an expert on weight," she said. By using the food delivery service Fresh Dining, Ricky was able to lose weight quickly. Ricky, who is overjoyed with her new size, has had to find new clothing. I'm buying all new clothes. I'm investing in a huge new wardrobe, but it's every day," says Ricky of her struggle with weight. Before starting her talk show, 1992 was when she really started to take off. Then, at the age of 24, Ricky shed nearly 100 pounds, but she claims that she went about it wrong this time. 
Lake was able to shed more than 100 pounds and go from a size 24 to a size 12 by eating little and working out every day. But her severe dieting had a cost. Nevertheless, Lake said that she was able to save her career by shedding weight. She was given an 11-year contract for a daytime talk show. Lake made headlines when she released the documentary, The Business of Being Born, which featured the delivery of her second baby at home. She lost the baby weight and then some after the pregnancy. She lost roughly 30 pounds compared to before getting pregnant. Lake even showed out on the red carpet wearing a size 4 dress for the Tribeca Film Festival debut of the documentary. Ricky flaunted her slim form in a swimming suit on the Us Weekly cover in 2007. For Lake, maintaining her weight requires cutting back on portions and managing her food. She admitted that once being an overeater, but now feels better when she restricts her food intake. Does Lake's strict outlook on food go too far? With the adamant admission that she's not an expert and the concern that discussing weight issues leads to an unhealthy national obsession with it, Lake is attempting to address childhood obesity with her new initiative, All Stride, which provides individualized food planning, workout guidance, and an online support system. Although it takes focus and perseverance to lose weight and keep it off, Lake is a good example of how possible that seemingly impossible is. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. What are your thoughts on this transformation? Do let us know in the comment section below. Never forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. See you with the next one. Till then, bye!